You're listening to Author Conversations, the Stenhouse Publishers podcast. The much-anticipated second edition of Strategies That Work was published in May. In today's podcast, Stephanie Harvey and Ann Goodfist discuss how their thinking has changed in the seven years since the first edition, especially on the importance of background knowledge and comprehension monitoring. Stephanie speaks first. So it's been seven years since we wrote the first edition of Strategies That Work. And when we began to think about a second edition, I guess what really inspired us to write a second edition of the book was all the incredible questions that teachers all around the country, educators all over, um, came to us with. And there were just a ton of questions that we realized we hadn't addressed or maybe in some cases hadn't thought enough about. We also visit classrooms all around the country. We'd notice comprehension instruction in a wide range of classrooms. And from our observations and what we noticed, we began to think ourselves about some of the things we might include in the second edition. So I think we became very aware more and more of how much what we learn is related to what we already know and how our kids, building the background knowledge of our kids, became such an important piece of becoming thoughtful, strategic, active readers. So one of the things that we really do in this edition is focus a lot on activating and building background knowledge and then con- making connections between various content areas, et cetera, but really helping kids build background. And I think it's this, this other di- idea that when sometimes we, when we, when we would talk about connections, we would see that kids, people would say to us, well, kids don't have any connections. You know, they don't have any background knowledge. So it's this whole aha, but that everybody's got background knowledge all the time, 24-7. And when, when you, and this gets into the content literacy that we can talk about in a minute, but when you get into new topics or unfamiliar topics, I mean, it's our responsibility to build that background knowledge. And when we do that, you know, kids are, are engaged, they're excited, and they sink their teeth into all these great things that we're learning. Yeah, I think we would probably say now that uh, nothing's more important than for kids to understand what they read than connecting new information to that which they know. And I think we've learned that so definitively. So this new edition really focuses a great deal on ways to build background, on how to help kids connect new information to that which they knew, probably in ways that the other one didn't, I Right. Think. Well, and then the whole notion of monitoring, this idea of comprehension monitoring, which we talked about really pretty extensively in the first one. But we didn't just yeah. say right out, chapter one, this is, this is really, it's a disposition, it's a tendency that we want kids to have to really think about, question, critique, r- respond to, et cetera, what they're reading. And so it's this whole notion of it's not a single strategy, it's not even really, it's, it's really, again, as I just said, a disposition. It's this tendency to really want, to really be able to think about what you read, reflect on it, and uh, think, think further with it. If you'd like to browse the latest edition of Strategies That Work or explore more titles from Stephanie and Ann, check out our website, www.stenhouse.com, or contact your local Stenhouse distributor. Thanks for listening.